Hello everyone, my name is Bijay Thapa. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this episode, I will show you how to install ZAMP and configure port if you have any problem on port number. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial series. So guys, first of all, we have to search for ZAMP in Google. So I'll just type XAMPP ZAMP and enter it. Then we have to click on first link to download the ZAMP. So here you can find jam for different operating systems like Windows, Linux and Mac. So since I'm on Windows PC, I will download I would like to download Windows, but I have already downloaded the same version of jam a uh, few minutes ago, so I will use that. If you haven't downloaded jam, uh, you need to download this application from here. Just click on this and you will download it. So I will go to my uh, jam application where I have downloaded so just go to downloads and here it is I have already downloaded the jam to install it just double click on this application so I have double click and then click on S it will pop up uh, the installation process I'll just minimize it then click on OK then click on next, 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 next. Then our ZAMP is ready to download. So click ready to install. Sorry. Then click on next. Then it will take some time to install it. So I will skip the installation, this loading part, and I'll come back when the software is successfully installed. So let's go somewhere else. So guys I'm back and the installation is almost complete so let's wait few minutes then it will be successfully installed why is it taking so long it should have it should be completed by now let's just wait here for time pass Bitnami for ZAM provides free installers that can install Drupal Joomla WordPress and many others. ZAMP is an easy to install Apache distribution containing MySQL, PHP, and Perl. I don't know what Perl does, but some of my friends are learning Perl. Open source, WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, Moodle, and Magento. So guys, <coughs> uh, the installation is now completing, it's on its way to complete. So we have successfully installed ZAMP on our machine. So I'll just click on finish. I will choose English if you like another language. I don't know, I think it's, is it German's flag? Don't know, so I'll just click on English that is this flag and save it so we have successfully installed jam and this is jam control panel so we have to check if the apache and mysql are working fine or not i think there is problem that this problem is detected port 80 in use by unable to in use by unable to with pid this is it. so so uh, in default in default uh, apache uh, uses port 80 uh, in our condition uh, port 80 is already reserved by another application so we might need to change the port number let's try once it's not working so we have to change the port port number so to change port number just click on config and go to apache http.conf file here just enter control and f then find port 80 then change 80 to 81 find next 80 to 81 find next change 80 to 81 find next okay so we have successfully changed the port number from 80 to 81 just save it and close it then start apache so apache is running properly now Let's start our MySQL. 
uh, MySQL is also working fine so we have successfully installed our XAMPP and uh, configured our port for Apache so let's check on our browser so I will just type LCL and local host 81 a local host call on 81 since I have changed the port number I have to give the port number also if we haven't changed the port number then you can just type local host and check it out but in my case I have to give the port number so this is the welcome message so we have successfully installed Apache MySQL PHP and Perl and let's go to our database for this we have to localhost 81 slash php my admin if you haven't changed the port number then you can delete this colon and colon and 81 then press enter so this is our database admin panel so guys we have successfully installed uh, jamp in our pc and configure port number for Apache. So if you have any problem while installing them then don't forget to comment. I will reply as soon as possible. And if you like this video and would like to know more about PHP, MySQL, uh, web development, web designing then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, while subscribing don't forget to click on bell icon so you will get notification uh, when I upload new video. So thank you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.